Hello friends, welcome to Tutor Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about Java Maven. There are many students who ask me to teach Java Maven, right? The Java Maven is a dependency management, right? So, in my previous videos, uh, imagine if you are connected the MySQL, uh, MySQL to Java, right? Now you are work with the database. Now you can't connect Java directly into MySQL, right? So you have to download the respective connector. So you have to go to the, uh, you just go to the Google and type MySQL connector for Java. You have to download the uh, particular connector and you have to import it into the library. This is how we have did in our previous tutorial. Uh, if you are go through the Maven, it is very easy stuff to manage the all the dependency you can manage, right? Uh, if you have worked with the Jasper report and MySQL and whatever uh, database, you have very easy to manage if you have worked with the Maven, right? Uh, there will be the website, you just go to the Maven repository and you can get all the dependencies what you need in your project, right? Uh, today, I am going to teach the step by step how to manage with the Maven and all the stuff. Uh, this is the first time you come into our channel. Please subscribe me. Uh, let me go to the practicals. I hope you oh, I open the Eclipse ID. Go to the file, new, Java project. Here I am going to give the name. Right, I just go to the name Java Rod Maven. I just give the name. I just give the name like this. Click next. Finish. This is your project you have created, simple, right? This is your Maven project you have created, right? So now what I'm going to do is here, this is your, if you expand the project, you can see the uh, jar library and SRC. Now I'm going to go to create the uh, frame, right? Go others, application window, next. Here I'm going to give the name Java, great, I just give the name. Whatever name you can give, I just give the example of this, right? Click finish. Right, this is the things, right? This is the uh, default design of JFrame. Right, go to the design. Now I am going to go to connect with the database, MySQL database, just to go to the MySQL. Go to the PHP MyAdmin. Rather than doing like this, if you are work with the MySQL work badge, it is very easy stuff, okay? So I am just go to here, uh, group grid. Simple database I have created, this is the name, right? Okay, this is the database registration, right? So here, right? Now let me connect this one. Okay, I have created the database name, uh, this, this is the table name, right? So, what I am going to do is here, I am going to design the form first, very simple, okay? After that, we will be connected as a Maven, uh, so you have to add the panel, so before that, what I did here is select, select this one, right click, set layout, absolute layout, now I am going to drag one panel, go to the structure, layout the background sorry not background you have to select as layout sorry not layout you have to select as border border you change what our border any border bevel border or something like that. you can click here you can get a border like this uh, so otherwise you can select the border any other border right now here i'm going to drag the labels before that, what I'm going to do is select the uh, border, right click, set layout, absolute layout, right? After that, we have to drag the labels. Here first label, you have to drag it. This one, you have to right click. Uh, we have to go to the uh, structure. We have to go give the name here as, first one should be name, address, telephone number, name. After that, we have to go here and we have to font bold 13, right. 
Now here the same thing control C to copy control V to paste below and get the another copy. This one you have to name it as address. After that third one you have to third one should be telephone number. So this same thing control C to copy control V to get the another copy telephone number. How do we drag three text field? Control C to copy, control V to paste below. Control C to copy, control V to paste below. Right. Now I need one save button. Now here I am going to track one label. Control C to copy, Control V to paste to get the label. This one should be we have to name it as uh, student registration. Student registration. Right. Here we have to. Right. We have to. This one we have to font we have to change the size as 20 it will be better now but if you want to bigger more than that 30 30 should be enough right this size right perfect right perfect now let's right this is the thing we have right now when you execute the project you can check here it will run successfully here like this right here it's working successfully now first what I did here is first we have to select this uh, text field we have to change the name txt name sorry txt name second one txt address this one txt tell telephone number alright this is a name okay we have to easily identify the uh, text field for we have to give the proper name right very easy to identify the purpose we have to give the name proper name right so now after done the design we have to add the marvin dependencies right in order to my in order to connect mysql connector and java right so how to add the my uh, maven dependencies very simple first you have to convert the project as maven so how to convert the project as maven this is your project java cred maven right click configure here there will be the option configure convert to maven project you are get like this you just same name also i have given that same name right the group id artifact id all the stuff are there right the, all the things are there now click finish your pom file is created here boom boom this file is created here this is a default dependency side very simple it is adding here you have to wait until the dependency is finished right finish it after that i have to add the dependencies called uh mysql right so mysql dependency we have to add it right so here like this you go to the maven so if you right click the project you can uh, you will be able to see the maven here add dependencies right now here if you are not get this one some some here here mysql the right group ideas mysql connector so mysql artifact right now here mysql right now here this one this empty right now i no need this one right it is not coming like this okay the mysql easily we can find it uh, go to the rather than doing like this very simple this one we needed right dependencies dependencies we need dependencies start with here dependencies close it here right so now what i'm going to do is here simply go to the respective website right uh, Maven uh, repository here you will be able the dependencies are there you just copy and paste it inside this block right here you have write mysql connector you can check here is that there you will be able to proceed this one 
here it's, it will be there uh, mysql connector j select on this one here there will be the versions are there right here you just go to select one i just select the uh, java or uh, something like this. this is the latest version right now whatever you can okay now it's the latest uh, version just i just select this one java 12 this one java 8.12 right you can this is the respect uh, dependencies you just copy this one whatever you can control c to copy back here you paste inside here dependencies that's the thing we have to do right okay like this okay you, you just select all press tab key you just go and get it like this like this is simple stuff you have to give right now you can have it here now if there is no error you are dependent you have set it like this whatever dependency you can copy here right i just get it this one right okay it's supported right this i have installed the java version 8 and uh, my uh, uh, java version 8 so i just select one of these right okay you can get any one okay i just give this one right uh, if you if you want you can select this also well right? it depends that's not a problem this is only the version it's asking right this version right okay now what i'm going to do is here after done the stuff it is building uh, once we add it it will be building it's configure the project as a java maven uh, after that we will be go to the we have to wait until the project is building if you add the dependencies it will be configured into your project now let's go to the java credit this one double click the save button now here you have the same code just copy control c to copy control v to paste here inside this button because we have to configure the later right this one should be txt name txt address txt phone tell right so we have to txt tell right now here we have to write txt tell right so we have to what is the database we have to do this is the columns names we have to put it here this is a values right this is a database name which is a right this is a registration this is a table name right so here we have already written simple code okay we no need to write, uh, write again by again this is all the uh, this all this all the text field but your data enter on this these text fields it assigned to the relevant variables over here if you enter the text name txt name whatever name you entered assign here address assigned to this variable phone number assigned to this variable after that we are register the mysql connector after that we have to register the driver so what is the error here is we have to add at the namespace above import java dot sql this one that's it now you will be able to add the connector so we have to write connection con prepare statement PST that's it right. here now the errors are go away simple right or the message box will be at the namespace right this one should be not a for telephone telephone number right now here I'll be explaining it uh, what is the error is you have to import the try and catch block sound like the try and catch you have to put into all the code into try and catch block the error go away right this is the simple code right uh, what is the problem having try and catch uh, what? exception handling right the exception handling we have didn't write the sql exception that's why it's a error shown right now it's working now you'll be able to see here with this no need here right print phrase right okay this is a simple professional way to create the credit right so here this is the we will register the mysql driver this is the your database path in reside on the localhost your database name is this this is a user credential of mysql right root is a username blank is a password right when you are installed the xam server this is the default uh, username and password here we have to write the insert into registration this is the table name these are the specify the columns value we have to write like this after that we have to prepare statement what is the sql query here right we have to put it here 
after that this is a prepare statement right here right prepare statement right we you already had again we have right but we no need right connect right prepare statement so we right prepare statement what i did here is here prepare statement uh, set string one one mean this name what is the name you are written you have to go here address this one phone here right one two three this sequence of uh, parameters followed by the sequence of uh, rows uh, columns in the table right this sequence name goes to here address goes to this column phone number goes to here it all are assigned to the relevant columns right name address telephone number and after that we have to get the message we have to execute update it will be calling the function uh, execute, uh, execute update record is added successfully after add the record it clear all the text fields after that cursor will be focused on the txt name text field right that's the trick we have to write okay now let's try run and check whether it's working fine or not now here you have to write john address india telephone number something like that click save button record say added successfully here yeah. your code is working successfully right it's working successfully your connector all the stuff you have to peter india something like that save right now your form is working successfully here this is the form.xml your mysql connector is working successfully right very simple but this how we have this is a maven dependencies right the all the maven here if you are if you add the mysql connector it will be coming here it's added the under the maven dependencies is added successfully whatever you are connected maven jasper repo all the dependencies are following here right i hope you guys you understood the things well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching